and welcome to my xbox and me episode 399 i had to think about it for a second i had to think about it i had to think about it i am one of your hosts mc fixer alongside the one and only two fresh crash crash how are you i'm doing great oh wow are you, uh, energy are you ready i'm already for what i'm already for what? Are, you, are you ready for episode 400 the big surprise we have planned so i was thinking about this the other day yeah I want to preference the audience with there is nothing. Nothing. No, don't, don't, I don't want you to think, oh, oh Fix is just planning around, or, or, oh, no, he's really got something planned. There is nothing. I haven't planned a single thing. There's no Greg Miller. There's no AC Bongos. There's no Ryan McCaffrey. There's no, there's nothing. Nothing. So you're saying they should treat this like it was a game show, an award show? Or like a showcase, a game showcase where there's nothing. They, they told you it's going to be there. Yeah. I need it to be worse than that. I, I need worse you to understand. <laughs> I am the game company coming out and telling you there is nothing. So don't expect anything. Like, I mean, if there's news that week, amazing. If not, this is what I need from you. If you want this show to be good, email in my Xbox and me podcast at gmail.com or the Discord or wherever it is you want to you wanna post this. Right in with your favorite memory from the podcast so far. 400 episodes we will be. Right in and tell us, tell us your favorite memory. That is all you're getting. I need that made perfectly clear up front, Crash. Mm, mm, I haven't reached out to anything. anybody. No more one more things. The, brother, no there's, there's, not even, there's not even a thing to be <laughs> a one more thing. Got it, got it, got it. Like, Just want to clear that up. I, I want people, they really need to understand this, Crash. I need this to be, I need people to understand nothing. If Matt shows up, we'll be lucky. That's true. You know? That's true. We'll be very lucky if Matt shows up. So, we'll be there. No, 400, of course, he'll be there. Matt's I don't, a special guest. Should I throw Matt under the bus today or not? Nah, I don't throw him under the bus. But I really want to. <laughs> Yeah, but now the suspense. People will tune in next week on the episode 400 where we're going over all the best memories of my Xbox and me for us to throw Matt under the bus then. Okay, fine. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Um, if you didn't know, my Xbox and me is our weekly Xbox podcast right here on YouTube.com slash my, uh, my Xbox and me and all podcast services. I know I've been off on the intro two times now. It doesn't happen often. It doesn't happen often. Uh, head over to patreon.com slash mcfix if you want the show early and to support the show financially. Uh, shout out to our Patreon producers, uh, Aaron Guard, this month. We appreciate you, sir. Topic of the show, Crash. I didn't put anything in here, but I thought we could talk about Resident Evil 4. Uh, Resident Evil 4, the reviews are out. The reviews yep. are out. Um, it is... It is looking very, 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 very good, Crash. Very, 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 very good. We haven't had the chance to review the game. We haven't got copies of the game yet. Yeah. Capcom. Hey, Capcom. I don't know what you're doing. Capcom. I don't know what you're doing, but you didn't send us any copies. Now, you might say, Fix, did you reach out for a copy early? Might have forgot, but that's not the point. That's not the point. All right, yeah, Capcom. What's Capcom? Up, Capcom? Uh, it's currently sitting at a ninety-three, a yeah. ninety-three on Metacritic, um, which is pretty darn good, Crush. Pretty darn good. Um, it got ten out of tens over at IGN. It got ten out of tens PC Gamer. Literally, all the big outlets gave it a ten out of ten. My question to you, first of all, is: Are you surprised? No. No, me either. It's like how popular the game was, like 10 out of 10s and all that stuff just means to me, it's like, oh, it's a good remake. That is all it is. So for me. I've never played the game, so I don't really have that sort of attachment to it. Have you, so my question would be, uh, did you, did you read any reviews or have you just seen scores? I've just seen scores. So I did, I did a few, a little, just, 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 just a little bit, Chris, just a little bit, just a little, little, little bit. I read a, li a little bit of a few. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, if I'm reading between the lines correctly from, from, you know, what they, what, what the reviewers have said over at GameSpot and IGN, I am going to like this game. Mm. But... 
I also don't trust reviewers as far as I can throw them. So, yeah, I mean, I'm excited, man. I'll be honest with you. It's probably, oh, I'm excited. It's probably the least excited I've been for a Resident Evil game, though. I'll be honest. Usually I'm bouncing off the walls. Can't wait. I'm um, absolutely, yeah. I would have sent emails ages ago, like for codes and things like that. Which, don't get me wrong, just life is a little bit busy at the moment. So I've just I've been off my game for a little bit. Um, but this is probably the least excited I've been for a Resident Evil game. Though, after the reviews come out, I was like, okay, maybe maybe this is... Maybe, maybe I should, maybe, be, maybe I should be a little bit more excited. Maybe I should be looking up towards yeah. this a little bit. Yeah, maybe I should be paying attention a little bit more yeah. than I currently am, you know? Um, but yeah, has this got you... I know you, you saw, obviously, you saw some gameplay... A couple yeah. weeks ago, you wasn't too hot on it. Did you ever try to check out the demo at all? No, I was planning on it, but there was just so much other stuff I had in rotation that I just couldn't get to it. Yeah. Um, I still play. I still want to play it before the game comes out, more so as a test to see whether I'm that interested on playing it day one or whether I'm willing to wait for it and play it at a later date. Yeah, I get that. Um, I Because I got a lot of stuff I'm playing right now, so I don't know. I don't want to force this in if it's not going to be something that I'm really feeling right now yeah um and the tens don't really do much to change that for me because like i was expecting this game to get high scores uh granted a lot of tens are incredibly impressive not to take anything away from the game yeah for a game that i'm not incredibly sure about because i like resident evil on the horror like puzzle solving elements and even what i've seen some people talking about for this game uh very action focused it's not that much of a horror game so that immediately takes it out of my interest line yeah and maybe the demo will sell me on it and hopefully the demo does sell me on it but i'll definitely play it before the end of the year because i feel like i'm gonna need to with you and matt for the game of the year discussion because i'm sure if you love it if both of you love it then that's it i don't need to play it that's cool but if one of you ends up liking it one of you ends up being a little more mid on it i feel like i would have to play it i feel like me and you just need to set up the the steam game share thing so you can just yeah. play it off of my account because we're not awake at the same time anyway. That's true. That's so true. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to play this on PC. I've got to be honest. I might get an Xbox code as well because I'm probably going to have Faz and G it. So I might get it on both. Um, as we all know, I play every Resident Evil game. I've got, I own every single Resident That's actually true. I do own every single Resident Evil game that's out on Xbox on Xbox, which is interesting. Multiple copies of Resident Evil 4 on every single platform as well, even though I don't love the original Resident Evil 4, which is crazy. I know, I know. Um, yeah, from what I'm seeing though, I'm yeah, I'm super excited, bro. I'm I'm again, I'm super excited, just not as excited as I probably would have been for some reason a long time ago, which is interesting. Uh, we got a question here though. Go on, go on. I was just gonna say you haven't been like the biggest. You've never been the biggest Resident Evil 4 fan, and yeah. I feel like Resident Evil. Other than Resident Evil 2 Remake, I feel like you've been very not super hot on a lot of the stuff they've put out. I liked 3. It wasn't... Yeah. I liked 3 more than most people. Well, I actually did like 3 more than most okay. people. I just thought there was... There's just a big section of that game that they cut out that I was a little bit annoyed about. But um, the round in which they went with 3, I was I actually didn't... I didn't hate it. It wasn't the best game of all time, but I didn't hate it. Obviously, the newer games are just not catered towards old school Resident Evil fans. So I'm always going... When you use the name of an IP that I care about, I'm always going to be super critical of that. So, yeah. yeah. And I think th this could retcon 4 for me, to be honest with you, which is crazy. I'm still... I'm still. It's funny. After, obviously, Dead Space... Let, let me read this question, because I think it actually comes in quite well with what I'm about to say. Uh, this is from Rai. Uh, they say, with Resident Evil 4 uh, remake uh, 10s pouring in, it looks like 2023 is shaping up to be the year of remakes. Dead Space, Metroid Prime, etc. What do you think uh of this thread does it say anything uh, to you about the current or past state of the industry it was trend not thread sorry what you said thread it was trend, oh trend was sorry 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 i'm not gonna lie no, Haley fucking rang me midway through so i'm about to text her saying i'm doing the podcast um what do, what do i think it says about the state of the industry i, I mean uh, it says that people have like nostalgia <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> i mean we've Which always known that though that's not like yeah. that's not something new to be honest with you i think as a whole i hope that it means 
we're going to see more original IP based off the back of uh, survival horror games. Is what I hope. Because mm-hmm. um, the last the last one I can think of, to be honest with you, is The Evil Within. The last original IP with a uh, AAA budget. Would you put Callisto Protocol into that? Oh, double A? I don't know. It's probably not. It's got celebrities in. It's got the graphics yeah. are fantastic. It probably is a probably triple A budget. Do you know what? I never played Callisto Protocol. I still because I heard such yeah. bad things about it. I was just like, oh, I'm good. No, was yeah, you're right. Year, Callisto. Year, no, right? yeah, you're last year. Last year. Um, Cal- oh wow. Yeah, you're right. No, Callisto Protocol. Yeah. yeah. I suppose we have just seen it then. Technically, yeah. Huh. Interesting yeah but i feel like that was the first like real attempt in such a long time to create a game a horror game like that yeah other than evil within and other than like more indie type of games 100 like, percent on steam you can oh, find a yeah. bunch that's yeah. where the horror genre has been living and mm-hmm. eating it would be cool to see some more triple a games for sure yeah uh go into that space but to answer to answer your question right i i just think people like remakes people like things that are familiar people like their ips right and i think dead space is the perfect example of how to do it and we have to give we're so quick to always shit on ea we have to give them credit for what they've done with dead space remake like they we have to they didn't mess it up they didn't change things that that didn't need to be changed there's no microtransactions there's no you know and they are the ones who have come out and said single player's dead and they've said all these type of things but Dead Space Remake, they made. They made it. It, it, it came out. I've played it. I've beat it. And I love it. It's got, it is such a phenomenal game. Phenomenal game. Yeah. Um, the, I think, well, I, I just, I just, I look around the industry and I go, oh, that's the type of, the, the bar has been set now for me. And I think that's why you see companies like Ubisoft go back to the drawing board with Prince of Persia and things like that. Because the bar has been set. Resident Evil 2 Remake. Dead Space remake, yeah. like Metroid Prime. I, I'm not a Metro person, so I, I can't speak on that one. Um, but it, Resident Evil 4 remake, which we assume is we haven't played it ourselves, but we assume is amazing. Yeah, the term remake, I feel like in the last three years has definitely changed. Like, we don't care about remasters anymore. I feel like as much as much, and there's still people that are yeah. going to do remasters I and mean, things, but remakes is where it's at. Yeah, I, I think remakes have like sort of distinguished themselves in a more significant way where remasters for like old games are great but if you're gonna remaster something from like the ps3 360 era i don't think it's worth it nowadays right yeah because it's gonna constantly get compared to it was already getting compared to the resident evil 2 remix but it's gonna get compared to dead space now it's gonna get compared to metroid prime and all these other games um where if you're trying to do a remake i think you have to do it well and there's two avenues one is the more bigger changes remake with like resident evil 2 remake changing the gameplay design or yeah. even some like final fantasy 7 remake or there's the one where it's like we're just gonna be super faithful and just improve stuff to modern day which is like dead space which is really phenomenal in that regard uh i'm kind of tired of seeing these sort of like not really remakes but gonna call it remake and it's just sort of a remaster that's more like a port than even a remaster yeah. and it's like okay why are we getting this nobody's those generally also i feel do pretty poorly also they probably make enough money to cover the development cost and a bit of profit but it's not it doesn't i don't think they're spoken about as you yeah. know as popular as um say like this the remake of resident evil 4 and things like that so yeah, yeah. it's interesting um Thank you for the question, bro. I appreciate it. appreciate it. Uh, let's jump into what's been in our box, brother. Uh, I'll kick off. I'm back playing Rainbow Six. Nah. Ooh. Full full transparency. Obviously, I work for Ubisoft. Yada, yada, yada. Um, so, the new season just dropped. Uh, so, take everything I say with a pinch of salt. Um, played it on the Yubi channel for work. And then I was like, bro, I had such a good time playing this. I think I'm going to reinstall it back home. Went home, started playing it. Was playing it all last night with a group of friends who... We are not playing. We are not serious. We're we're literally just sitting in the back, chatting, talking shit. Like not even paying attention, to be honest with you. But I love that game so much. Rainbow is such a good game. It's such a good game. Like they've got a new system. They've got a few new things in it. Obviously, new operators in it. Uh, Brava, which is um, she can hack um, gadgets. 
So she her, she puts a drone down, and you can drive around the hack. You can hack like cap cams, oh. and then they became your cap cams. So if the team walks through them, it blows them up. Oh wow! Yeah, that okay. cameras. Like that. There's a bunch of a bunch of little things you can do, which is really cool. Um, they've got they've added the two time scope back and the one point five scope. So for players like me who have terrible eyes, I have to when I play games like that, I need something with a big scope. Otherwise, mm. I just struggle. I don't have the best eyesight. Um, and it feels like they've they found quite a good balance with the characters that have the scopes. Obviously, you 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 will remember back when Ash had a had her ACOG <laughs> and you yeah. were just popping heads. Like there's there's a good balance between all of the operators now. Um of who's got a two times, who's got a one point five, who's only got a red dot and things like that, which is really, really nice. Um obviously you've got unranked, ranked, which has been there for a while now. Um I feel like that system's just been really refined really well now in Rainbow. Um every game feels like a comp game even when it's not, which is mm. which I know that, that might sound off putting to a new player, but it teaches you the mechanics of the game really, really, really well um which i really like they've added new shooting range in there now so you can and it's quite in depth like it's a like a proper shooting range they've got two sides to it one's like a a board which you can shoot on the you shoot the ball to the left and you can go 30 meters 20 meters 10 meters it shows you where your fire is it, it, it's so much information on each gun and then over to the right hand side they've got like a a, a body double um you can you can rotate them. You can make them lay down. You can make them crouch, and you can just practice in these areas, which I think is so cool because nobody likes to practice and get beat. I feel like like that's one of the big things that's very frustrating, right? Like you're trying to learn an operator's abilities or things like that, and you have no way to do it other than obviously we had terrorist hunt. Now they've got this shooting range, and there's just so much info. It's like showing that you move you slide to the left or you slide to the right or that where your bullet fire goes just the, the stuff they've added is really really good it just it just shows what happens when you have like a really engaged audience and you keep feeding them i will say there's still problems with rainbow there's still problems with the sky on some of the um levels there's still problems on console uh, of people using mouse and keyboard and they are fixing that at the moment they're working on a way to add latency to mouse and keyboard players when they're on console which I think is really, really cool. Um, and there's a few other bits that they've got coming. Um, I don't know full details or anything like that. I'm not withholding the information. So, um, but yeah, I'm, 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 I'm back in. I'm back playing, which is really cool. I don't know if that's gonna. I don't know how long it's gonna last. Um, but it's nice to have a do, game that I play off stream. Do I need to reinstall Rainbow Fix? Is that what you're telling me? Um, it's fun, bro. I have to I say, it's you, fun. So it's a yes. I'm, it's a yes I'm, or no. I'm having. I, a, I think <laughs> if you if you're gonna want to play ranked, I don't think so. Like, I think if you're going in to play uh, comp, no chance. Let's stop this fix. I asked you a yes or no question. Answer the question. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay. I think so. I think right now, if someone was to say to me, "Fix, you want to play a shooter?" The one shooter I'd go to is Rainbow. Like, other people yeah. go to Valorant, other people go to COD and things like that. If you said to me, I want to play games with you, let's play games, I'd say, cool, install Rainbow right now. Okay, install Rainbow. Only because I want to play games with Fix and he keeps ducking me, so. I'm not ducking you. But um, I was literally, in, I was in my Discord the other night, just literally. It was like, yeah, I'm going to just hang out in Discord and play games. Yeah. And then literally I had like a few, a few people from Roleplay come in and were like... I'll I, I was gonna hop on and then you I saw have. a bunch of people I don't know and I'm like, Oh, no, you're crazy, you should have jumped in. Much, honestly, it was effort. honestly we were in there just fucking we were in there just talking shit. Like honestly, we were it was like back in the day, bro, to be honest with you. Just like a bunch of friends together. Some of them were doing some of them were at, were at work, like just silent. Wow. Some people were in there playing. It was yeah, it was really nice. Really, really nice. Back in the day without me, that's crazy. I know. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. That's crazy. Um what else have I what else have I been playing? I haven't really been playing anything else. I downloaded um Contraband Police. I downloaded that, which is a new game. I don't know if that's on console yet. Uh, you play like a border control uh, person, you like you know, and you deny and let people in, and people are just smuggling drugs and things like that. Um, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Two uh, K provided me with a code for WWE Two K Twenty Three, so looking forward to trying that out. As you all know, I'm a huge wrestling game fan, so can't wait to dive into that. Just I've been so busy, I've not had a chance to check it out. Go, on, Grush. Uh, I was gonna say contraband police is not on console yet. Not yet, not yet. Well, hopefully yeah. it makes it to it because I'm hearing good, good, good things about it. Um, 
But yeah, we'll we'll wait and see on that one, I guess. To be honest with you. Um. So yeah, mm-hmm. next week I should have been. Next week I'll. I guess we'll push the podcast to late next week because Resident Evil comes out. Um. Yeah. So I should have Resident Evil Four beat because I'm planning on spending the whole day playing that. Mm-hmm. Um. Into its beat, and then I'm gonna try to beat that in one sitting. To be honest with you, I'm not trying to fuck around. Um. And then yeah, I should have that and WWE 2K23 to talk about next week of games I'll be playing. So and more Rainbow with a thought. So. What about you? What have you been playing? Uh, I did the Destiny raid. Oh, you beat it? Yeah, I beat it. Congrats, beat it. congrats. It. How'd it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was fun. It yeah. was a lot of fun. Uh, visually, probably the best piece of looking Destiny content, I think I would say, just design-wise. It's very, very well designed. Okay. Uh, a little bit on the easy side, which I think was the consensus with most people, because uh, day one raids are... Destiny has a spike in difficulty for day one raids that they take off after well now they did it two days the first two days or whatever that they take off um and it was really easy even for that difficulty and i think that was the general consensus um and i think i'd agree with that i think even if like it was more difficult and that i didn't finish it i think i still would have had as much enjoyment with it I'm glad i did finish it not to take away anything like that but uh overall very very fun raid um Good. other than that i played diablo 4 i played the beta Okay, well, yeah. okay, so, yeah. so, slow down, okay. So, I am very excited for Diablo 4, uh, 4, Jesus, words. Um, I've never played a Diablo game before, though. So, from the beta, yeah, I'm not worried about continuation of story or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm getting into this game for a story. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Um, I, I will say, the best, I... I've never played Diablo 1 or 2, let me put that out there. I've only yeah. played Diablo 3. Uh, the story's actually really good in Diablo 4. Oh, okay. I've oh. heard people say that it's the best Diablo story. I haven't played the first two, so I can't really speak on that. Yeah. But there's, like, actual cutscenes and stuff like that, and they do stuff within this type of genre of game that I wouldn't expect to be done, I will say that. Like, in terms of strongest story. Yeah. So... What I was going to say is, is this a great place for me to jump in? I'm going to jump in no yeah. matter what anyway, because yeah. I just need new games. But it, this is a good place to jump in? Yeah, yeah, yeah I think so. Can it's, I play uh, this solo? I've been playing it solo, I think so. I think there there will be content that'll be purposed for co-op content. But like, there's world bosses and stuff like that that you won't be doing solo. Yeah. But when you run into them, you'll be running into them with other players. I think... There will be... Uh, sorry i was just i think my thing is i just want to be able to play it solo and then if someone if you jump if you're on and i go yo chris you want to come play and we can just jump yeah. in and play perfect i i, I think 100 percent that'll be doable gotcha i think so um i think it plays really well i think it, it's um there are certain stuff that i've seen people complain are very diablo 3-esque but i haven't played another diablo so for me i'm fine with it yeah i think the skill tree the way they do it is a lot more uh a lot more deep than it was in Diablo 3, like significantly more deep. It feels like they took a lot of notes from both uh, Path of Exile and Lost Ark on oh, what they're okay. doing with the game in certain aspects. Like the skill trees are very um, Path of Exile-esque and there's certain environmental stuff the way you inter- interact with it where I'm like, this feels like it was ripped straight from Lost Ark and not in a negative way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks like they've taken a lot of stuff from other games and other now, I was going to say other genres, but not really the genre they started that other games have made uh, sort of put their foot through the door. Um, they've taken some of the stuff that really make those games stand out and put them into Diablo, and I think it actually works really well. I also want to give the game a huge shout out for cosmetics, because a lot of times, I know in Diablo 3 and a lot of other games of this type, when you want to transmog and change the outfit for your character without it changing the stat, they make you pay some sort of ridiculous price for it or whatever. Yeah. This one, it's sort of like you dismantle the item, you unlock the cosmetic, and then you can go to wardrobe and just change it which oh is really cool. i like that that's cool that's really cool actually okay cool yeah, yeah. this comes out in june yeah. so i'm i'm yeah. i'm well, looking forward uh, to it open beta next week so yeah but think- i'm not gonna play i don't think i'm gonna touch a bail got it I, okay, because, again fair. i've burnt i've burnt black for blood it's, yeah i've yeah. burnt myself out on content before where i'm like I I I know me. I'm very much the same with films and TV. I don't like re-watching or redoing things. It's why one of the big reasons why I hate preview events. Um, though it's part of our job, so obviously feel free to invite us to previews. But preview events are always that like, oh, I've done this. When I get to that part of the game, I'm like, oh, I've done this. Like I don't want to do this again. Um, so 
yeah, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wait wait for the game to drop, play it when everyone else is playing it, and uh, have a good time with it. To be honest with you, yeah, I I think that's fair. I, I do think I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah, whenever you do get around to it, I will yeah, say it looks yeah. good. I watched some people play it, and I was like, oh, this is graphically looks very appe appealing on the yeah. eye. To be honest with you, um, and then just the gameplay itself, I was like, oh yeah, no, this is this looks like something I can jump into and have a good time with. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything um, else? I've played Valheim. Oh. Well, yeah, you, you've gone back to, to Valheim? Xbox Game Pass. No, I've never played Valheim. Oh, I bought it. Yeah, yeah, I never played it. Oh, What would you think? Uh, it's cool. I I enjoy it. Yeah. It's very, like, lost. Uh, I was going to say Lost Ark, not Lost Ark. Ark, Minecraft-esque yeah. yeah. sort of survival game. Um, I don't get the hype around it not that i dislike it i agree i think it's a i think it's a cool game i think it's a great game i can see people loving this game i do not get the hype around what this game had when it launched no yeah i i, I bought it at uh, it was like it was cheap if i remember right it was like 20 pounds or something during the preview yeah, or something like that early yeah. access yeah and um yeah i remember playing it when it came out and being like if i had a group of people to play this with i'm sure this would be way more fun um but i was playing it and i'm just like don't get it uh, like yeah. am, am i supposed to get it maybe i'm not supposed to get it but i just didn't i didn't understand why it was so 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 popular but yeah. hey more power to you if you're enjoying something keep enjoying it you know i will say kudos to the game for being like we're not gonna go for crazy high graphics oh, and sticking yeah. to it i think that was a very smart decision because like knowing the type of graphics you're gonna go for you can create some like really good looking scenery and the game does have it on occasion i don't know if it's procedurally generated um but on occasion, there are like some good looking satellites, uh, s line of sights. Yeah, <laughs> I'm messing up my words right now. Nah, you're good. Um, but there's no thing like up the graphics and the game starts running like shit, which yeah. I feel like a lot of these type of games end up running into that issue where this game is like, I know what we are, I know what we're doing, that's cool, and all that stuff. But yeah, um, fun game, don't know why it got as big as it did, but I'm not mad at it either, you know. So uh play what you want to play you exactly know? i'll probably i'll probably continue playing it on occasion because i played it with uh, a couple of friends yeah They're like i'll we'll play some valheim i'll probably be like yeah sure yeah it's one I'll, i, I wouldn't i wouldn't not play it because a bunch yeah. of people playing it but it's also not the thing that if i'm sitting on my own i want to play on my own exactly exactly yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, let's jump into this week's dashboard. Not a lot of news this week, Crash, but we've got yeah. a couple of bits. Uh, Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield open the door into Fortnite. Uh, so for those who don't know, Leon and Claire have both been added as skins uh, into the Fortnite shop. Crash, go on, ask the question. You bought them. I don't need to ask anything. Do you know for a fact I bought them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ask the question. What question? Bro. I literally bought them, played two matches, and was like, yeah, I'm good. Long as, yeah. I, long as I got them. Long as I got them. I mean, oh, actually, would, I should say that. I played Fortnite. Yeah, I played Fortnite. I should, yeah. I should say that I played Fortnite. Finally, with the new... Um, since they moved it to the new, the new engine. Yeah. It, oh, my oh, God. Yeah, that game is then, yeah. beautiful. Nah, like, wow. There's so much stuff in that game that is so fun that yeah. I'm I like, wow. I I, 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 I... Yeah, I can see why this is still so popular, to be honest with you. Yeah, I know people like to take like the the uh, make fun of Fortnite in a lot of regards. Like, but like that game does so many stuff that you don't need to love it, you don't need to like it, but like you gotta respect it at some point. Well, bro, I went to a certain point on the map and literally it started doing like a tower. It was like a capture the flag moment on the map, and then because I stood there for a certain amount of time, a bunch of gold loot just dropped everywhere. Then I had a bunch of drones flying over that you could shoot, and it was just like. And I understand Battle Royale isn't where it used to be um, yeah. in its popularity, but that game's still so good. Like, so, 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 so good. So, um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm, I, again, I was happy to buy it. I, had, I already had the currency, thankfully. Um, mm. So it wasn't like I had to pay any more money. Um, but yeah, I was but you just like, Just so you get this clarified, you would have. 100%. 100%. I would have. I would have. Uh, I would have spent it. Good. They look really nice. Yeah, yeah. The, the, I'm, I'm more impressed with the Claire one than I am the um, Leon one, Leon. personally. But 
They went with a younger look in Leon from Resident Evil 4, um, which I'm fine with, but Ooh. it just doesn't... I don't think that translates over as well. Um, and they went with the Resident Evil 2 Claire. So, yeah, I uh, I think it looks really good. Really, really good. I'm happy I own them. And, uh, you know, because I'm telling you, I don't know why, but... And this is probably a stupid thing to me to say, but for some reason, I trust Epic. That for I feel like if they did a Fortnite 2 or something... For some reason, I, for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like they would go, and I, there is all your skins. Don't ask me I why guess, I think that. I like I'm kind of in the same boat as you because I do think Epic's been very pro-consumer in a lot of regards, as as much as a company can be yeah. pro-consumer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but I think licensing would be possibly the only issue with the Fortnite too. I can uh, so whatever. In that case, it wouldn't be. Yeah, hands, no, I know? I get it. I get it. I just like. If they were to come out with a Fortnite kart racer and then I can l run around as Claire and Leon or something, I'd be yeah. like, oh my god, this is amazing. So, yeah, I just keep giving them money when it comes to Resident Evil stuff. In there. I mean, you you bought. I think whenever Resident Evil drops for anything, there's always a moment for you like, am I gonna get that? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna get there's that. Never, I don't even know why I asked the question anymore. Of, am I gonna? Yeah. It's just like, yep, yeah, cool. Um sits right next to my master chief skin as well so yeah, yeah. uh next up ghostwire tokyo uh, is going to launch on game pass in april uh april 20 uh, sorry no april 12th uh, to be precise it looks like the game will be coming uh, to xbox game pass uh, on console and pc uh there should be a new version of the game with an update uh, that adds additional story content new game uh new game modes and more as well for players who will be playing the game on game pass so um yeah i still haven't played this game i didn't touch it when it went to playstation just wasn't and i wasn't it's one of the it's a shame because i'm obviously a big um a big oh jesus studio tango. name tango words um fam thank you um but this game never never ever ever appealed to me I, I didn't get the hype around it when it first got shown um and then it came out it did fine um yeah and now I'm uh, I'm like I just don't maybe maybe Halloween I'll check it out maybe because then I'll have a reason around that time. Um, it reviewed really well. I just I don't know. There's something about it that I was just like. Yeah, um, I was when they first showed it off. I was very excited for it. Same. It looked like I was like, it looks very cool. I love um, the combat looked cool to me and all that stuff. Uh, but then reviews came out, and not that the reviews were bad. They were just very much like Midland. It's, you can it's, wait on yeah. this. You don't need to play right now. And I was like, it's going to come to Xbox at some point. I'd rather play it then and talk about it and whatever. Um, so I'm very excited for this. I'm excited to play it. Um, I'm interested where it sits for me. Because um, this is a very strong year where I feel like if this came out last year, it's still sort of like Deathloop where it's like, oh, this would have a chance to be on my top 10 year of the game. Yeah. Plus, I'm curious where it'll stand for me this year because we've had a very strong year and it looks oh. like it's going so to continue strong. being a strong year this year. Yep. So. 100% agree, Robo. Uh, next up, last story this week. Uh, Microsoft is signing more deals uh, to bring Activision games to more services. Um, there's a couple here that have been added. So you've got... Um, there's a deal that's been uh, put with a Ukrainian streaming service. Um, that's not in this new story that I'm reading now, Crush. Um, and then they've also partnered with uh, Ubitus, Ubitus, I think it is, or Ubitus, um, which is a Tokyo, uh, Japan-based uh, streaming service as well. So, again, we all know I'm absolutely bored of talking about this merger. I'm bored about... I'm bored of it all. I'm very, very bored of it all, to be honest with you. But I will say it's very interesting to see what Xbox are doing to really put the pressure on um regulators to be honest with you yeah. because i find it i find it interesting what the what is going to be the answer to the question when when they say oh well well you know we can't we can't let you do this because it's unfair to other people it's like well we've already partnered with everybody there's only mm. one when everybody else has said yes and said this is okay for the industry and only one company comes out and says it isn't. It's very interesting. I saw. I also saw an article or some news on Twitter about like uh, how much money COD makes PlayStation, and it's yeah. crazy how much it makes. So it, it yeah. makes perfect sense why PlayStation are are holding on with dear life 
um yeah when it comes to it comes to that yeah i i think the only argument remains is like for playstation like a 10-year deal doesn't promise anything no right? i agree and I think oh, that's I, like that. Uh, if I would be honest, I think that's the angle they should have taken from the beginning. But they've played so much like semantics and BS. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, a ten-year deal like does nothing for us. If it's not in perpetuity, after that ten years up, who knows how we can get screwed as a company or whatever. Yep. Not to say that that would be the valid or like that's an okay and that the deal shouldn't go through because of that. But I feel like that is the argument that should be made. It's um, a better argument. It's, a, <laughs> it's a valid argument even for all these other stuff. The Nintendo, the Nvidia, the, all this stuff is like okay, Microsoft's going to, for 10 years, they're going to get their foot in the door, they're going to be everywhere, and they're going to be like, hey, now you can only get it on Xbox. Mm -hmm. That's a valid argument. Whatever Sony's doing right now is like, it's so messy. <laughs> like, I don't even know why they're talking at this point and doing whatever they're doing. Yep. It's, um... I'm just over it. I'm over the conversation at this point, to yeah. be honest with you. But, uh... Xbox is playing it smart right now. Planet. They took out like a whole yeah. page ad as well. I don't know if you saw this in a newspaper in, the other for day. The UK. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like talking about all the things. But to <laughs> me, that smelled like desperation. To be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I, I will. Like, I'm gonna agree with you. Like, there's some stuff where I'm like, oh, that's good, and then other stuff I'm like, that just seems a little bit like they're still worried about something. They're, or maybe yeah. they were like, hey, we were planning on doing a lot of this stuff regardless. Maybe we're just gonna throw everything out the door now. Like. No more surprises, no more announcements, no more anything. We're just, everything is getting out there uh, as far as this deal is concerned. Um, and maybe that's the case, uh, which I, to be honest, I wouldn't be too surprised um, if that is the case with Microsoft, because I do feel like if you saved some of these partnership announcements over time, I feel like you get a lot more word of mouth over a longer period of time. Yeah, 100%. I think they're just, they're, I think they're at the point where they're like, all right, well, look, this might not happen. Let's just put all our cards on the table and show everybody that they're very much on the. <laughs> they're very. Uh, you see, obviously, uh, Phil Spencer coming out and talking about it, and, and and a bunch of other people. And I'm sure, again, I'm sure they're not being disingenuous, but it is always look, look what we've done, look what we've done, look what we've done. It's like, yeah, yeah that's all well and good, but like you said, I I do agree with the argument that Sony have of well, yeah, ten means is ten years is nothing if they just came out and said that so yeah yeah man it's, it's gonna be interesting it's coming up it's coming it's closer than we think which is nice to be honest with yeah, you yeah i i can't wait till this is over if i'm yeah. be honest i don't need to see another article on this although i'm sure after it happens oh. for like the first the next six months there'll be articles that like pop up around why like, it's bad that xbox got microsoft own yeah. activision why xbox have done this and why did xbox have laid off four people and the, 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 the oh bro it's gonna be hell on earth but it is yeah. what it is. It is what it is. Uh, let's jump, in, jump into Fix the Sack. You can email in my Xbox and me podcast at gmail.com or you can join our official Discord, which is in the comments below. Or you can find us everywhere. Hashtag MXAM on Twitter. Ask us questions at MCFixer at Kreshnik Plays. Uh, first question comes from the Game and Butcher and says, Hey everybody, love to hear that Fix enjoyed his time uh, with the Dead Space remake uh, playthrough. Dead Space is probably my favourite game franchise, and it's been great to hear the praise it's been getting across the board. Also, what a time to be alive for a survival horror fan. 100% agree with that. So my question is for Mr. Fix, and that is, are you going to wait 3-4 years for Dead Space 2 remake, or are you going to play the highly touted OG Dead Space 2 that holds up insanely well? I think you should... Uh, at least give it te uh, 10 minutes minimum of your time and i promise you you won't regret it from the game and butcher um i think i'm gonna wait i'll be honest with you uh i have really 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 enjoyed my time with dead space as you all heard on the podcast and i think having that fresh opinion coming into that game i wasn't comparing it to the old game i don't know what was happening i liked that about my experience with dead space uh, remake I think if Dead Space 2 is as good as what people have told me it is, and people do say it's very, very good, um, I think that would be a better experience having it as the remake than it would play in the OG. I am a bit of a, gra a graphic snob, I'll be honest. Like, I like pretty things. I like pretty graphics. Um, so for me, going back would probably do the game a disservice, if I'm honest yeah. with you. Because I'm not coming at it from a nostalgia point of view like you are, because you remember it from that time that you played it, and you loved it. I'm coming at it in 2023 when I've just come off of Dead Space and going, 
oh, this looks a bit janky, or oh, this doesn't work as well, or oh, this isn't as clean, oh, and I'm comparing it to the remake. I wouldn't be comparing it to the OG. So, yeah, I think I'm going to wait. I hope they remake too. They've shown that it can be done. Capcom have shown that it can be done. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very hopeful. Very well, hopeful. Yeah, you're not Capcom. Um, no, Capcom have shown it been done with Resident Evil. Sorry. And it. EA okay, 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 can, okay, na can now follow that same blueprint and and move forward with... with the, with the No, no, that's my bad. I didn't explain myself uh, appropriately. Um, um, what about you? Would you... You looking uh, for? Me, would you? Would, I, have you finished? You didn't finish Dead Space yet, right? I, I haven't finished it yet. I won't. I wouldn't play Dead Space Two. I'd no. wait for the remake as well. Um, very similar case of like I've never played the original. I won't have that nostalgia going into it, and I would rate it as a downgrade for me. Even though yeah. technically it's not. No. It's a sequel to the original and all that. Um, but I would view it as a. I would view it as a downgrade regardless. Um, would you be disappointed if they decided not to remake 2 and decided to make a new Dead Space? Nope, I'd love it. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, for me, I'm, I'm whatever whatever makes you happy, like whatever makes you happy as a developer, number one, because that's the most yeah. important thing to me. And then number two, whatever allows the franchise to keep living, whatever allows survival horror to keep living. Again, as as much as I love Dead Space, I don't think the story is that great. So if you're telling me you can give me a game of that caliber, with that level of polish, with that level of uh, detail, with that level of emotion, with that level of uh, environmental storytelling, and then you can add a really interesting, doesn't have to be amazing, but an interesting story um, based on a character similar to Isaac, I'm good with that, personally. So, yeah, we'll see. We will see. Next up, hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I have recently been binge watching a TV show called All of Mankind. It's on Apple TV. It's a spe uh, it's essentially a show set in an alternative sorry alternate history where the Russians beat the US to the moon. It then follows NASA into space race after this event and show and the show has been made sorry. And the show has made me weirdly hyped for uh, Starfield. My question is, have you ever consumed a piece of media that has ever made you look forward to an unrelated upcoming game? Or have you ever played a game that has made you want to watch less listen to a piece of media in the same genre that you wouldn't or even thought about beforehand? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Keep up the great work. Shout out to the Potato Squad. Best regards, Lewis Glover. Um... I'm watching. I'm so I'm watching. Um, Jesus, I'm watching Breaking Bad for the first time, currently, Ooh. which is TikTok got you, huh, <laughs> brother? TikTok got you. So there's there's three <laughs> shows I've started was. watching because of TikTok. Breaking Bad. Can you guess the other one? The other two? Can blinders? you guess? No. Oh, uh, uh, Sopranos. No. Okay. I'll for you is a different. Those are the three that I see. Okay. So. Uh, Breaking Bad, yeah. Young Sheldon. Okay, I've seen clips of that. I Young Sheldon, that. and yeah. um, and the other ones are filmed. To be fair, which I haven't watched yet, but I'm going to. Um, oh shit, what's it called? Uh, it's with uh, Sandra Bullock, and she 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 rehazes Is the the big black uh, American football player. Um, oh, uh, Silver Linings Playbook or something like that. Something you know, know what I'm that. thinking of. Yeah, they're yeah, on my yeah, TikTok yeah. every day. I've seen about half of the film at this point. Let's be honest, but. I was like, you know what? I can't keep doing this. Like Breaking Bad, I've heard amazing things about. Breaking yeah. Bad also plays well into my role play, and I was like, oh, maybe I can think of some decent storylines off of watching some drug dealing stuff, um, yeah. which was cool. Um, and yeah, so I've started watching those. So it's weird that you say that. Every time I'm watching, um, I'm watching Breaking Bad. I'm thinking about role play, which in turn then makes me think about GTA Six every single time. Where I'm like, where I'm like, oh man, I really hope GTA 6 is what I hope it is. Like, I hope that it's going yeah. to be, I think it is, I've got to be honest, I think it is going to live up to my expectations, but yeah, every time I think about drugs, I think about GTA, which is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not that crazy, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's going to be the most interesting thing when you play GTA 6 and you're going to finish it and you're going to be like, oh, that was amazing. And then you're going to have to go back to GTA 5 for a role play. <laughs> no, no way. I'll just, I'll be, I'll double down on content on online at that point. 
You think so? Yeah, because I think what what I'll do is because I'm yeah no, no I'm not gonna. Well maybe maybe I'm wrong. Maybe because four point oh a four. This. Well no, because four point oh will be out by then, and maybe they'll be even different. Maybe I'll be on you, a different server. Like you never know, bro. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how long it'll take them to put out their first version of one point oh no pixel of GTA six. Yeah. I think it'll be a year, if not I, if I not also... a bit longer. Yeah, I also wonder if everybody will jump over for 1.0. Oh. Because I would imagine it's not going to be as... It won't be good. <laughs> yeah. It will, because the content will be there, and the creators will be yeah, there. That's... Ultimately, what, what happens players. is it gets built up, right? And then you go from yeah. one to, to, to... Think about it. To be on the ground floor level of... Yeah. I'm coming in at the tower end of of no pixel in GTA. Like, there's people that have been on the server for years. So yeah. yeah, no, I think everyone will everyone will definitely ever move over, definitely. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But um what about you? Have you got something that you watch that makes you um, think about a piece of medium? I don't think so. I think playing Cyberpunk got me more interested into like that type of world mm. more so, but like even that is like sort of not really. I just I play it very much by ear and eyes i guess if i see something that looks cool i'm into it i don't really have that sort of knock-on effect uh when i watch a lot of media unless it's something like i played witcher i was excited for the witcher tv netflix show which is i don't think that's what is being referred to yeah, here and stuff no. like that. um so not really that i can think of i'm sure there's something at some point that has got me excited but nothing off the top of the head fair enough fair enough next question comes from origin cookie man who says what with Oh, Jesus, words this week. With the recent trailer uh, for Pokemon Sleep, a mobile game which tracks your sleep patterns, Nintendo appear to be combined in their IP. With lifestyle apps, uh, which properties do you think Xbox could uh, potentially combine with a real-life uh, application for the mass market appeal? None. None. Pokemon is Pokemon stuff. You can't. You can't do it. Like, if None. we're gonna be honest, if anything, if you put anything else in pokemon go or pokemon sleep or whatever pokemon comes out in the future it won't compete oh. like nothing will compete it works because it's pokemon that's the only reason it, it works as well because they've got a, a an ip that children care about and this it's yeah. that's that's a you know that's a it's a gimmicky thing it's... that that kids will buy into as well and parents will then be like oh this is actually productive for their lives um xbox have i don't think xbox have a single ip currently that kids give a crap about yeah and yeah like even with the activision deal by the way I, there ain't a kid out there like oh my god crush bandicoot anymore or spyro the dragon they could bring skylanders back in a very big way no they couldn't skylanders was huge it was, it was like, we've, we've moved beyond that now though Mm. And that doesn't fit their Game Pass model because that's again that was physical as well and yeah that was toys. Like, but I, if you're getting Activision, my imagination is that you end up into uh, the toy avenue in some degree, which they partly are already with Minecraft. I want to be surprised if after the Activision deal, you would see it kick up, possibly into a lot of the other uh, Microsoft stuff as well. Because that is one thing you can give Activision a whole lot of shit. Uh, merchandising for some of their for, for some of their games and toys and stuff like that. Bro, all of their games. Like I went whenever yeah. I went to the Call of Duty event. I've been to the Call of Duty event like last three years, right? And you walk in there and they've got Call of Duty T-shirts, Call of Duty mugs, yeah. Call of. I I really can't wait until I have f finally moved from this place. When you guys see the amount of like charge key stuff I've got. Like the COD event I went to, I think I've got like a Captain Price model and things like that that they were oh, selling. Yeah. Like, bro, they do it with like when no, don't even think just their kids' games. Like everything they yeah. do it with. So, yeah, man, it's, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big, bro. Imagine Diablo's Activision, right? Yeah, bro. Imagine this deal goes through. Imagine this deal goes through and a game, yeah. a Diablo fires on Game Pass, bro. Crazy, wild, crazy. Wow, you'll get a free upgrade for a level 70 character. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, uh, Hero Jeff. Uh, do you guys have any interest in Diablo 4 beta happening this weekend? And next, are you going to be playing it when it launches in June? Thank you very much for the question, uh, Hero. We appreciate you. Um, we've spoken about it a little bit, but yeah, I'm, I'm, 
I'm not going to touch the beta, but I'm absolutely going to jump in in June. I'm actually really looking I, forward to it. Really looking forward to it. I just want you to know, Fix, if you get one character to level 20, you get a nice wolf backpack with a little sleeping baby wolf in your backpack. I'm just letting you know. I don't care. How long is that going to take? How long is that going to take me to get to 20? I have no clue. I'm still not level 20. So. That's... I. I do care when other people have it and I don't not, have it, much, yeah. but You'll right this precise second, I don't care. Don't care. No, I yeah, can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. To me, it bugs me about Rainbow. Like on Rainbow on the uh, Ubisoft Connect stuff, there's one. There's yeah. something in there that's a beta thing that I don't have, and I'm like, <sighs> uh, how dare I? I've got the fucking steep keychain, but I don't have the fucking beta thing. Yeah. It's just like, oh. So I will care when this game comes out and everyone's rocking it, and I'm not, and I'm like, why don't I have that? But I also do not care enough to to do it to do tw- to, right now i do not have 20 levels in me i don't think i've, yeah. I've got so yeah, much yeah. more stuff I've, I've got to do so that's fair yeah unfortunately mate unfortunately it is what it is it is what it is um next up we'll do one more before we get out of here shall we uh let's do one from Duven, who says how excited is the panel for dragon ball z budokai 10k 10 10k k- Tenkai. Give up. Four. And who did you mostly play in three? I'm very excited. Uh, I'm mean, very excited for it. And I used to play SS4 Gogeta. And I'll put money on the line to 1v1 and beat Fixer or Crash on stream. Oh! I get my ass whooped in this game. You I would? Have no, I have no confidence in this game. Um... <laughs> it's not like it's not. It's not my type of fighting game. <laughs> are you into Dragon Ball? You're, are you into Dragon Ball? I'm into Dragon Ball. Yeah, Dragon I assume you was. It's a fantastic fighting game. Dragon yeah. Ball Fighters. But that's more of a traditional 3v3 fighting game. This, this is, is the one they fly in the air and they do all that stuff, right? Stuff yeah. Like yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Uh, but anybody, if... Who knows? Maybe we, do, <laughs> maybe we do a stream when the game comes out. Maybe. Anybody can get... These hands are free for everybody, you know? Um... <laughs> My hands are not free, they're insured, and you guys have to pay to even look at them. So, thank you for your dollar. Everybody's paying right now. Right now, if you're watching the video, <laughs> you... Bank account is just skyrocketing. Every, every second. second at them, babies. <laughs> every second. Um, I'm not excited for the game at all. I'm not a Dragon Ball person. I used to watch Dragon Ball when I was younger, but I never, I never got into it in my adult life. Um, still trying to find an anime that I can jump into and watch, but I also have commitment issues, so... Hence why I can mm. never jump into anime. That's why I enjoyed One Punch Man, the five episodes or six episodes I watched. You watched um, and never finished. I never finished, yeah, exactly. Um I think I watched I watched Death Note the film as well, which was terrible. The movie? Yeah, Haley's Halo's movie. a Haley Haley's a big Death Note fan, so God, she she God, wanted to God. watch him and then she was like, This is terrible. Never think of this ever again. I was like, Okay. <laughs> okay, I Forget won't. This <laughs> I won't, I won't. But yeah, no, not excited for me. I'm sure Crash will play it and uh, tell us it's game of the year or something, but we'll see. Yeah, totally. That's definitely what I'll say. Game of the year for sure. It's game. not coming out this year. I don't think yeah, that's a date. Yeah, this this year, it's coming this year. Guarantee it. Oh. I, gu- I guarantee okay. it. All right. You heard it it's here bit- first. No, okay. <laughs> no pizza bet, no pizza bet. Okay, uh, no pizza bet. Let's plug, plug, plug and get ourselves out of here. I'm going to plug first. Once again, next week is episode 400 of my Xbox and me. Tell you what, maybe we do it live. Maybe maybe, maybe we just do it live and we can just talk to the chat and we can hang out a little bit. Maybe we even play some games. Maybe we make a little event of it. And we, okay. we, play, we do the podcast, then we play some games, maybe do some open lobbies or something. Maybe that's okay. what we'll do for, for episode 400. But I need to stress to you, there is nothing. There's no Phil Spencer. There's no AC Bongos. There's no Ryan McCaffrey. There's just going to be me, Crash, and Matt if he rises from you know the what? dead. You know what episode 400 is about? The Us. listener. The yeah. listener oh, is a yeah. guest listener. live stream. Yeah, that's, that's what it. it is. That's it. That's our angle. There's n- we plan for there to be no guests. You guys are the guest, you know? We definitely Special plan that. We definitely big, plan big that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah, just be prepared for that. Yeah, I think maybe we'll we'll sort out a day and we'll post it in the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord, um, go join it because uh, there's some good people over there. Chris, what you got to plug? Uh, I just wanted to check if there was a new review, and there's not. So I got nothing over there. I would plug in the reviews, but nobody, 
nobody's leaving any reviews, so I'm done with that. Nobody it's cares. Over. Yeah. Uh, YouTube channel, subscribe, leave comments, the Discord. Um, there's multiple places you can get the Discord link. You could always just hit us up on Twitter or something like that, and we can throw the Discord link your guys' way. Great conversations been happening happening there. Been very active. It's been very dope to see. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice yeah. to have a Discord where I don't have to worry about when the conversation's happening. Yeah. But like, I realized I yeah. hadn't. We didn't have any mods. I just Am modded I us. Not? I just modded us. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize. I was <laughs> like, oh, uh, uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I should pay more attention to that. Um, but yeah, yeah. Make sure you go check out the Discord. Make sure you keep listening to the shows. And until next time, we will love you, leave you, and see you all later. Goodbye. Bye.